Hey YouTube, what's going on? Today is Saturday, October 25th, 2014. Today I wanted to talk about why did I purchase a Northern Light truck camper, the brand Northern Light. I'm a bit biased when it comes to truck camper brands. I'll just kind of say that um, I believe that the Northern Light, and I'm not being paid by them to say any of this. This is just my opinion. Uh, they build a superior product. They build a uh, top-of-the-line truck camper. Um, you know, it's interesting. It's been quite a journey of, of shopping for truck campers. Uh, I did previously, I owned a Lance Squire Light 185, I believe it was. It was a 1998 model year, 8 foot 6 bare bones camper uh it didn't have an oven uh, it had an air conditioner and solar panels great little great little camper um i really enjoyed uh, enjoyed it um it uh um and lance actually was uh was a was a was a brand that i was uh i was considering um when i first started looking i had sold my my lance i had it for a couple of years and then i sold it <clears throat> and when i was shopping for truck campers I was looking for something originally my plans kind of uh, you know my shopping kind of changed a little changed directions here and there a little bit in terms of you know what I was looking for what I was going after purchase price amenities and so forth um, originally I was only looking for something that was about eight foot six in length because I wanted the ability of towing off of the uh, factory hitch without having to go with any hitch extensions. So my search began uh, looking for a truck camper that uh, would fit those parameters, eight foot six, and would have the amenities and something that was about oh seven years old. And I kind of started there, and so purchase price points uh, in my area here on the Pacific Northwest. Uh, I was looking at spending anywhere between like ten and fifteen thousand, and uh, I went out and looked at a few of them, and uh, you know they were okay. I just was, I wasn't really uh, overly impressed with you know some of the layouts on them and the uh, the dinettes. I wanted a dinette that I could a face to face seating dinette, not one of these little. Uh, squirmish things that you get in in the corner and you sit here and you're you know you're facing looking at a wall or something you know I wanted a face-to-face -face dinette and originally I was going back and forth with wanting a slide out or not wanting a slide out and in the end I decided I did not want a slide out and the reason for that is because well I mean there's a there's there's a there's quite a few reasons I'll talk about them just, uh, you know, when you have a slide out like that, it's this mechanical apparatus that goes in and it goes out. And it's one more thing that can that can break down and uh, require maintenance and repairs. And then you have the, uh, they also have the tendency or they can leak water. They can leak after time. It, it's, you're, you know, you're, you're exposing the, uh, the orifice there every time you open that, open it out and close it. Um... So they can be leaking, and then also they can allow heat to escape from the uh, insulation and heat from the RV when they're open, you know, in the winter time. Um, so that's another thing. And then the other thing is weight. They add a, a lot of weight to the camper, and uh, I wanted to be as lightweight as I possibly could. <clears throat> And another problem that uh, a lot of people don't talk about with these slide outs is that, you know, when you pull into a parking lot or whatever and, you know, say you want to, uh, you know, you want to spend some time there, cook a meal. And, well, you know, you need to, you know, some of these RVs, you have to stretch, some of the Trek campers, you have to stretch out the slide out all the way in order to, like, sit down. Some of them you can sit down with it slide all the way in, but you don't have a lot of room inside. So... And this is a huge thing, and, and it's you know it's one of these things when you go shopping for RVs and you go into the lot, and uh, most of the time all the, the truck campers with the slide outs are all they're all slide out they're all slid out. So you go in there and it's like oh this is great you know and so that's one thing that can be overlooked is uh, you know okay so what is it like when it's all the way slid in? So if you're going to go shop for a slide out truck camper, 
make sure that when you're looking at them, you slide them in and you slide them out and you get in there and you get a feel for them and you see what it's all about and if you like it or you don't like it. Um, so I wanted something that I could pull into a parking lot and um, if any parking lot and, uh, you know, I'm done. I walk inside the truck camper and I'm done. I'm not sliding anything out. And then you also have uh, batteries too. You know, that every time you slide those things out, if you're boondocking, you know, that you're, you're taking charge from your batteries to slide those things and slide them in and slide them out. So those are the issues with the slide outs. I didn't want, I, so I decided that a slide out was not what I wanted. Um, as far as length goes, length of truck camper, I gradually started to go longer. Uh, I went from eight foot six and then I went to nine and a half and then I went to 10 and I said, you know, well, this is what it's going to be. Um, my issue that I was having was the interior height of the truck campers. I needed something that was at the minimum six, six foot six. It was cutting it a little close. I needed to be more like six foot seven, six foot eight. Six foot eight was the number that I was going for. And it just so happened that, you know, it's amazing when I started looking at the truck hampers, I really wasn't looking at the Northern Lights because I knew that all the, you know, the older models, which is what I was looking for at the time, I didn't, wasn't, didn't really want to spend as much as I did spend. They all were like six foot four, you know, so I had to crouch my head when I got into them. So I kind of wasn't looking at them. And then uh, one day I was on the internet doing some research and I realized, and I found out that I believe it was 2012, they came out with a mold that had an interior height of six foot eight. And I thought, wow, this is awesome. You know, so then really my, sh my, my search had changed at that point to really just looking at the Northern Lights because they were the only one with this design of shell uh, it's a two-piece shell. They they build these uh, like a boat, and they put them together, and you know, so there's basically no leaks or anything. Um, so, so I ended up uh, looking at the northern. I ended up going. You know, that was the huge turning point for me with uh, with the northern light. Um, I had also looked at the Arctic foxes, and they were the other contender at the time. Um, I was looking. I think it was like the eight eight one. It was. It was a, uh, I think it was, oh yeah, 811. It was an 8 foot 11, so you could tell off of the factory hitch, and it had a slide out. But uh, what really turned me away from the Arctic Foxes was it really wasn't the concept of the slide out. I mean, even though I've talked about that and I realized I didn't want one, it was the weight. The issue of, you know, when this thing is fully loaded with all your weight on there, uh, man, I mean, those Arctic Foxes, they're, they're nice built campers, but, um, they're heavy. I mean, they weigh a lot, you know, I mean, I was looking at being over 4,000 pounds with, uh, you know, the 811 model that I was looking at, um, uh, with the weights that they questioned. So I realized that, wow, you know, and, and the, uh, this Northern light that I have, um, I'm at about 2980 and I've got, uh, I've got everything generator, you know, the whole, uh, everything, the whole enchilada, I've got it. So pretty lightweight package for, uh, what they pack into these, uh, into these, into these truck campers. Um, so that pretty much eliminated the Arctic Fox search. And then I was looking at a Lance, which was like a nine foot, you know, camper, but, uh, they don't have the, quite the, uh, the mold construction that, uh, you know, that goes into the, the Northern Light builds, you know. So at that point, I realized that, uh, and that and the, the Lance also had a slide out on it as well. Um, so I started to shift away from the, uh, from looking at the Lances. Um, and then the other contender in the manufacturers that build this type of a, de a design mold, the exterior a fiberglass design mold is Bigfoot, but they don't build anything with a tall interior height and, um, from what I have read and research I've done, the Northern Light builds a superior product, and I'm sure that's you know going to be subject to opinion. But uh, from research I've done, uh, Northern Light uh, builds a superior, a more superior product than the than the Bigfoot. The quality that goes into the, some of, of the the, uh, the designs and the uh, manufacturing process. So. 
it came down to the Northern Light. And of course, with having to look for a 2012 or newer, um, you know, that was a, a, you know, that became, that, that ended up increasing my price point significantly from what I was looking for. But when I first started this, I, I realized that this was something that I was going to commit to for a while. And I wanted to buy, I wanted to buy the best that I could. I really wanted to invest in the best. And, and right now I'm really happy with my decision. And I, I see this as being a, a camper that I'll, I can have for the rest of my life if I take care of it and I maintain it well. Because these things, I mean, they've got a, a, a fiberglass. They're built like a boat. They've got a fiberglass exterior shell. So uh, very low maintenance. And, uh, you know, if you talk to Northern Light owners, uh, you know, these things don't leak, okay? Um, there's very little maintenance that you have to do. The only thing you have to be concerned about is around, uh, you know, some of the vents and the air conditioners and, you know, that kind of thing like that. But uh, they, the way they build them, they seal like underneath and then they seal above. And, you know, so they guarantee no leak. And when they leave these things from the factory, they do all kinds of leak tests on them and to ensure that they're a leak-free uh, unit. Um, so that was another really uh, huge part of it as well. So getting into some of the maintenance um, that I've just kind of brushed on, they're very easy to maintain, the exterior finish. Uh, you basically apply a high quality uh, marine wax on the on the outside, you know, once or twice a year, and uh, you know, and, and you're you know you're good, you're good to go. And another another important thing that I uh, I was long I was looking for was a four season camper. Uh, a lot of these truck campers they are you know they're three season and uh, they're just not going to cut it in the colder climates. I wanted something where I could take it into you know below zero weather and camp in and uh, Northern Light. It clearly is able to do that. The Arctic Foxes are also a four season camper, and I believe there's a few other manufacturers out there that um, that are. Um, so, with all that being said, um, and then of course, you know, just the the layout of the Northern Lights and the uh, the way that they design these things. You know, I've been um, I've been in mine now for over a month. And I mean, I'm relatively new at, uh, you know, with it, I haven't experienced a lot of problems and my, my camper is brand new. Um, I have been pleased with everything on here. I mean, just as far as the design and the, uh, uh, the user, user friendliness of everything, you know, how is it, you know, it's one thing when you go to the showroom or the dealer and you look at these things and then it's a whole nother thing when you get out there and you actually use them. And you know what? You know what is it like when you wake up in the morning? Are you hitting your whacking your head on the overhead? You know, which in this one I don't. I can I can uh, I can sit up um, and not touch my head on the ceiling. You know, which uh, in a lot of these campers you you know you can't do that. Um, so yeah, in the finish, uh, everything uh, inside is um, you know it's beautiful condition. The uh, the dinette table it slides. You know, that's another neat little feature that I really, really like a lot about it. Um, so I'll get into and uh, I'll do a, a tour of my truck and camper. And uh, I'll show you more of an up-close look at, at what everything looks like. Um, but those are some of the, those are some of the, 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 big, the big reasons. Uh, Northern Light is pretty much, they're kind of in their own league, um, if you will, with their designs and their builds. And, you know, Bigfoot is the other contender, but uh, they pretty much, you know, they kind of, they do kind of do their own thing. And, and think so a lot of the things that they have, uh, you know, the other, uh, the other manufacturers, they don't, they don't incorporate into their, into their truck campers. So if anyone is looking to, uh, to purchase a, I mean, I know everyone has a budget, um, but um, from a standpoint, if you want to do the truck, if you want to buy a truck camper, it would be, it would really would be my advice to, uh, save your money and really seriously, you know, I know that the Northern Lights, they definitely uh, carry a higher price, but um, in my personal opinion, they are worth it. You know, uh, if you go out there in the marketplace and look, you know, you're looking at used, uh, they're hard to find used. They really hold their value. Um, I met a couple uh, at a casino that I was spending the night at that had bought one brand new in 2004 and they still own it and they said that they have 
no signs of uh, wanting to get rid of it anytime soon. So they're going to keep it uh, probably forever. And they were very, very happy with their purchase and never had any leaks. So that was just another testament of, of, uh, of the quality that they, uh, that they put into their, their, uh, uh, their truck campers. So there you have it. If you have any other, you have any other questions uh, about anything, uh, shoot me a comment and I'll get back to you. Take care of YouTube and have an awesome day.